What's going on YouTube? GS no right here. So in today's video, we're talking about a new vulnerability, the release of iOS 15.3.1, and of course, the update to the SEP and Basement compatibility chart for downgrade purposes. So if you're interested in jailbreaking, this video is for you. But before we get into that, thanks to all the people who are supporting this channel on Patreon. They are right now on your screen. So let's get straight into the video. So for those of you who are unaware, three days ago or so, Apple released 15.3.1, the build number 19, the 52. So right now iOS 15.3 and 15.3.1 are signed. So this update here is available for all devices and it patches only one important vulnerability, a WebKit one. So basically something related to Safari, the general web engine behind it. So it says in here iOS 15.3.1 and iPadOS 15.3.1, it's a WebKit vulnerability and it says Processing a maliciously crafted web content may lead to arbitrary code execution. We like that. Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited. That's something we don't like. We're going to get into that. Zekobs posted about this, quote, A vulnerability that was exploited in the wild as zero day is now patched in 15.3.1. We advise to update. Vulnerable devices can be hacked by clicking on a link, one click, or in some scenarios as zero click, for example, water holding or cross-site scripting, man in the middle and captive portal. So they are talking about this vulnerability that was patched on 15.3.1 back on February the 10th. And yeah, it's actually quite bad. This has been used by threat actors or hackers in the background in order to hack people. That's why it says that it was exploited in the wild here on the Apple security content. Can this be used for jailbreak purposes? Like for for example uncover very likely yes because it's arbitrary code execution so we like that it probably can be adapted to use on uncover or torin or any other jailbreak that would want to pursue a webkit style so right now uncover uses an ipa format you install the ipa file you deploy it you press jailbreak and that's it they could use a webkit vulnerability in order to basically jailbreak directly from uncover.dev here instead of download it would say jailbreak and you would do it directly from the browser that's something that would be possible with a proper WebKit vulnerability, probably chained together with a kernel one, but still this is a proper serious vulnerability and I would definitely advise you if you don't update because you want a jailbreak to respect what Zekop said in here and to avoid basically clicking on any single link that you get. Some of those links can indeed trigger the vulnerability and you would get all your data stolen. This is a proper serious vulnerability and as you can see sometimes it can even be zero click if you use a captive portal that has been infected or if you're a victim of men in the middle or XSS and stuff like that so it's still good to be very careful what you click on if you stay below 15.3.1 now the chances that you will be targeted by such things by a hacker are pretty much slim but they're not zero so you should still be indeed cautious on what you click especially those messages that you get from like fake banks or fake amazon that your order has shipped click here to see your status and you're like what order i didn't order anything or even worse you think that it's something you did actually order and you click on the link and it turns out to be something that exploits this so be very careful what you click on and avoid clicking on links you don't know. In other news, I have updated the Future Restore iOS downgrade SEP and Basement compatibility to reflect basically all the latest changes, including iOS 15.4 beta, 15.3.1 and 15.3. If you want to see exactly how you can downgrade or what you can use to downgrade or upgrade your device with Future Restore and saved SHSH blobs, the link to my website will be down below. So that's basically it. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. I am GSNow. Till the next time, take care and peace out.